Now she's using you to regain them. <laughs> Until she has remade our world. Mommy! Can I have a warning? Kill tonight! The Mummy. This is the 2017 launch of Universal's Dark Universe, which, in case you, in case you don't know, and I'm sure you already do, is the beginning of their shared universe, a la the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They did try and do it initially with Dracula Untold, but as that one was not a particularly good hit, they've kind of just restarted, much like the, uh, the DC did with the Green uh, Green Lantern film. They kind of that was originally supposed to be their beginning of their shared universe. Didn't do very well. So they scrapped it. But here we have The Mummy. And this is a film that has been much maligned by critics. And is it that bad? Well, it does have some problems. But I still think it's probably quite a fun film. But let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. I'm not going to go too much into the plot here. Suffice to say, this is a Tom Cruise movie first and a Mummy movie second. And I've got the feeling that's the way it was written or at least adapted once Tom Cruise kind of signed on. And that really is the problem here. The, the, the focus is, uh, is on Tom Cruise's character rather than the kind of titular mummy who's more of a background player. If you don't know what I'm quite meaning, think of the 2014 Godzilla film where it happened to be about Aaron Johnson's character and then kind of Godzilla was just kind of in the background and caged in. They kind of cross paths. Very much very similar to that one here. And uh, Tom Cruise is likeable here and he's kind of playing this kind of like... Uh, scoundrel type which you don't see him play that often these days although he does kind of look confused most of this way through this film and kind of stumbling around uh, he is involved in this plot to uh, to basically become the uh, the embodiment of sets the god of death the Egyptian god of death and uh, this kind of imbrues him with uh, you know the, the the mummy basically paid by Sophia Butella well I've got to say is is quite you know quite good in this role um, She's definitely a good physical actor here. There are some good scenes, actually. There's a great scene, I think, in the middle of the film, set in England, where we have this kind of great kind of misty church, basically, where we have the first real encounter with Tom Cruise and the mummy. But overall, it is more of an action film rather than a horror film. It, there are kind of lots of kind of CGI baddies. Some of them work, some of them don't. Um, the comedy is a little bit hitting you over the head. There are some good action sequences and some of the stunts, as you probably know, Tom Cruise has kind of done. It's a fun, fa fast-paced film. It's really dumb. It's very much kind of feel like it's made uh, with the chick boxes rather than tell a good story and definitely made, I say, Tom Cruise movie first and foremost and kind of a mummy movie second. There's some good moments in it. The Jekyll and Hyde scenes were quite good, I thought. Russell Crowe was quite fun. But overall, it's... It's meh. It's all right, though. It's, it's kind of like, meh, you kind of see it and you kind of won't worry about it. Uh, not the kind of the, the, the stellar start that I don't think the Universal wanted. Uh, but it's not as terrible as some reviews would have you believe. I'll give this a middling 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me comments. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.